Hi guys, welcome to the Get Tech YouTube channel. This video is gonna be related to the modulated AM signals. We have been learning piece by piece for a long time, and this is the 10th edition of circuit example and the last one. And let's get started. First of all, let's look at the formula that I'm opening now. Okay, uh, an amplitude modulated signal has the expression below. VAMT is equal to in the parentheses A plus VM cosine in the parentheses 2 pi FM times T times cosine uh, in the parentheses 2 pi f c t um, actually this is cosine omega t you know that omega is uh, 2 pi f and uh, this is uh, cosine omega t and the formula is that and in which a sinuso sinusoidal high frequency carrier waveform cosine uh, 2 pi f c t is modulated by a sinusoidal modulating frequency of uh, fm the modulation frequency can be any signal for this example, we will assume it's a sin it is a sinusoid. The modulation index is called M. Okay, this is the formula and this is the uh, theoretical information for this video. Okay, close it. Okay, now we can come to the uh, software. I have already uh, built the circuits and I've already opened the software program. And let's analyze the circuits. Okay, there are two uh, sinusoidal voltage source. Uh, this is the carrier waveform, this is the modulating waveform. Uh, as I said to you before, uh, today we will use a sinusoid uh, as, as a modul modulating uh, wave. Okay, and the values are one, 1 volt for the carrier amplifier, sorry, carrier, uh, amplitude of the carrier voltage is 1 volt and frequency is so high, as you see, this is a 5 kilohertz and it is so, so high value. And the modulating frequency is 500 hertz. Okay, the, the new thing for this circuit is that, that's operation, that thing. And let's, let's uh, look at this, what is that? I'm going to another place. This particle is that you have to type, uh, first of all click P button, and you have to type M-U-L-T. This is a uh, multiplexer or something like that, I don't know. Um, sorry, delayed it. We are using this one to simulate the AM modulating frequency and the inputs, one input, two and outputs. It is uh, multiplying the two in inputs and giving a, a just one single output. Uh, we are trying to uh, get an AM modulated signal at the output side and because, because of that we are using this, this part. Okay, delete it and let's turn back to our circuits. Okay. By the way, we are using a resistor, a uh, 1 kilo ohm resistor, uh, as a load to show our uh, modulated AM signal. Okay, I think every, everything is ready. Um, we can, we can uh, now create a new simulation profile. Okay. A name can be um, AM underscore modulate. Modulate and create it. Create button. Okay, and it's gonna be a uh, time domain analysis. Uh, let's make it 100 microseconds, microsecond, and the maximum step size is 0 0.001. Apply and OK. Now I want to add a voltage marker to show uh, output modulated signal. I'm gonna add a voltage marker at the output, and we will see the modulated AM signal at the output. Okay, we are ready to run our simulation. We can run with F11 or this button. Okay, graph is coming now. Okay, as you see, this is AM modulation, AM signal. This is AM signal. I mean, and I don't, I'm not. I don't. I am avoid to give uh, too many technical informations uh, again. Um, this is AM modulating signal. And there are another thing um, in the in the electronics. Uh, there are something like Fourier transforms, and I want to uh, take the Fourier transform of this uh, AM modulating signal. To take the Fourier transform, uh, come to up toolbar, click this one, not this one. Okay, it was there, I think. Yeah, there are some different analyzers, as you see, and performance analyze logarithm of x axis, and add trace and text label something like that. But we will use the Fourier commands. For your comments. Okay, that's the Fourier transform of our uh, AM modulating signal. Okay, between 4 kilohertz to 8 kilohertz, there are some differences as you see. 
Okay, uh, that's all for today. We were trying to simulate AM modulating signals in this uh, piece by tutorial. And also, it, it was the last edition of circuit example. In the following videos, we are going to record uh, some videos about uh, how to add part parts to how to create symbols, how to create libraries in the following days. Thank you very much. If you liked this video, don't forget to share with your friends. See you.